Hidden away in a small wooded area of the Waveney Valley lies the atmospheric ruins of an 11th century minster, an important early church. Mystery surrounds the origin of these fascinating ruins. In the past, it was thought that this ruin was a Saxon cathedral. However, archaeologists have since discovered a broken 10th century tombstone set in the foundations, so concluded that the ruins are from a later date. The minster is of almost unique design in this country, though it shares a similar layout with the North Elm Church, both of which feature unusual tower bases. It is also possible that both churches had small chapels on the first floor for private worship. There has been a long association with the bishops of Norwich at the nearby South Elm Hall, with Herbert de la Singer, the founder of Norwich Cathedral, being the most likely builder of the minster. As well as founding Norwich Cathedral, Herbert left his mark on the older seats of the bishopric, setting up a small monastery at Hoxham and building special churches both at North and South Elm. By the 14th century, the minster had gone out of use. Some sceptics have suggested that the ruins were in fact a clever folly to entice pilgrims and line the coffers of bishops with an appetite for lavish houses, entertaining and good hunting. Though the history of this ruin and its strange fortified enclosure may never be solved, these ruins still inspire tranquillity and meditative thought. Sadly, the ability for us to visit this site is currently under threat. The Minster sits on private land with the current owners giving free open access via permissive paths. Due to recent significant vandalism to the east side, the owners are now reviewing their current public access policy. Bish for Bishoprick. Bishoprick? <laughs> the bishopric. Bishopric. Fucking hell, I can't say that word. <laughs>